In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the use of Firebug. Firebug is actually a plugin for Firefox that gives you the ability to look pretty deeply into what's going on with a web page. Now, what I could certainly do here is on any web page, I could do View Page Source, and it's going to give me all of the source code for the page. And I could certainly dig through this and try to find exactly what it is I'm looking for. For example, if I wanted to find that search box there, I could go digging around here. And as it turns out, looks like what I've got here may be the search results. I could certainly dig through there and find what I'm looking for. And maybe it's easy, maybe it's not. Sometimes you'll find a site where everything is really strung across on one line and it makes it really difficult to read. How does Firebug help with that? Well, Firebug helps by breaking down the code into really easily manageable chunks so that you can see what's going on. I can pop open different sections and it actually collapses sections for me so I'm not easily confused or distracted by a lot of text or code that isn't relevant to what I'm looking for. I've got some scripts here, and I can take a look at the scripts that are in use very easily. This is the HTML. I can do show full text, show white space, show comments. I can do show entities as names or symbols. You can see I've got a lot of flexibility in terms of how I look at it. Now, you can see there are some other tabs here as well. I could look at the document object model if I wanted to see exactly how the page is put together and what values correspond with the different portions of the document object model. I can certainly take a look at things that way. I can look at the cascading style sheet and see how everything is put together and what the different components of the page are designed to look like. I can take a look at Drupal data. In this case, there's no Drupal data. I can look at references, and it doesn't look like there's much of anything in the way of references here. I can really break down the way I look at the page into a lot of different areas and look at it much more easily. And it makes it a lot easier to find different sections and figure out what's really going on here. It helps organize the data in a particular way so it's easier to manage and it's far more readable. That was just the header section that I was looking at right there. I could now collapse the header section, and now I want to look at the body. I've got some additional scripts here, and I can look at the scripts that are embedded into the body here. And I could go looking for the different areas where I actually had some data that I wanted to look at. Maybe I wanted to find the search box right here may make this a little bit easier to find the search box if I were to break all of these open and I could search a little bit better that way. In this case, I've actually got some frames and I can go looking through the frames to see where I've got some more sections of the page. This gives me the ability to more easily break out the source code for the page and helps me look at what's going on a little bit better, which may provide me with some insights into how I could actually go about breaking the page down and finding all of the hidden values in the search boxes and all of the information that I may want to break into this particular page and causing some problems with the site and maybe doing some cross-site scripting or finding ways of doing command injection. This gives me the ability to actually not only see the individual components, but also gives me the ability to figure out what JavaScript is associated with it. Again, I can certainly do all of this just by going to view page source. 
but the fact that I can do it more easily and it provides me some context with where I am within the page is really helpful and how I can break it down into the cascading style sheets and the document object model and all of the other areas, like if I had flash on the page, I could do some looking at the flash. Firebug actually gives me a lot of capabilities in terms of looking at the HTML, looking at the JavaScript, seeing how it all works, where it is on the page, and how it operates. That's Firebug inside of Firefox.